Hi, I'm Rick and I'm with All Fills Labeling Division and today we're going to go over our AccuWrap Wrap Labeler. The AccuWrap is a complete labeling system that can be rolled into your production line and used as part of your production line or it can be used as a standalone piece of equipment. The complete machine is, is on one integrated base. You have the base that holds the main electronics for the system, the electronic controls for the labeling head, the labeling head, the wrap station, the conveyor, and the spacing wheel. The process starts by placing or transferring your products onto the infeed of the conveyor. Once they're on the conveyor, the spacing wheel can be adjusted both in location and speed to put the proper pitch between the products. Once the products are spaced, they travel down the conveyor and are seen by the product detection sensor. The product detection sensor sees the product and tells a labeling head to dispense the label. The label is dispensed onto the product as the wrap belt rotates it. The label product then exit on, exits on the end of the conveyor. As I mentioned, the controls for the labeling head are up here. We'll go through that in a little more detail. And then the main system controls are here. So right now we have the power on, we have the stop button lifted, and I can hit the start button. Once I hit the start button, it's going to allow a product to pass. As you saw, the products travel down the conveyor, were spaced by the spacing wheel, the product sensor detected them, the label was fed out, the wrap station rotated it, and the labels were applied around the product. The AccuWrap system is great for pretty much any size round product. As long as the product is stable and can stand on its own, it will work on this machine. Even if the products are larger than these, it's offered with varying conveyor width, so we could do a wider conveyor for a wider or larger product. Now, the labeling head itself, you have the roll of labels. This is a toolless machine, meaning you can take the supply reel off, lock a new one on, you can adjust the collars for different width labels, you can take off the rewind. Everything that needs to be done to change the roll of labels out can be done without any tools. As far as placement of the label onto the product, you can see the labeling head is mounted on a U-arm. The U-arm is then connected to a height adjust post. The post can be raised up or down to place the label in different locations on the product. The same with the wrap station. So we could take this and easily do an 8, 10, 12 ounce container as well as a 2, 3, 4, 5 gallon container. All of the adjustments are scaled so it's easy to repeat them to go back from one setup to the other. Now we have our electronic controls here. There's a whole series of controls and when the machine is purchased with the optional alarm package you can have alarms that will be displayed on the screen to let you know if you're getting low on labels, if you've run out of labels, or if there's a problem with the machine. But you can see on the basic control package, we have a status display that lets you know the labeler is now running. I can stop it from here as well as from the stop buttons. I can restart it, I can jog it. I have product and label counters that will let me know how many products and labels I have ran as well as my settings. The main settings here that you would be concerned with are your product delay. What the product delay does is it allows you to adjust for different size products. So the sensor sees the leading edge of the product. As my product gets larger, I'm going to increase my product delay to get the label centered on the panel. I then have my label stop position. My label stop position is exactly as the name implies. 
at is where the label stops at the peel tip. Once again, that allows me to run larger or shorter labels without having to make any mechanical changes. You can simply change the label stop position by touching here, entering in your new number, hitting enter, and now we've just changed for a different size label. We also have a recipe package so that you can preload that information and rather than entering these settings one at a time, you can simply assign a recipe, a name or a number, whichever you would like, and then when you hit the new recipe, the adjustments are already in there. I just hit main and I'm back on the main screen. Now, as far as the labeler itself, I mentioned we have on our unwind assembly, we can take it off and put on a fresh roll of labels. We then go from the unwind assembly to a stationary roller and our dancing arm. Now what our dancing arm does is it keeps pressure or tension on the roll of labels. What that means is that you're going to have the same amount of web tension or label tension throughout the entire roll. We have a friction belt underneath and a belt and a uh, spring that's connected to the dancing arm. When the dancing arm is pulled, that spring releases the belt and allows us to spin. Once again, that's going to give you the same web tension or label tension through the entire process. We go from the dancing arm to our label sensor. What the label sensor does is it sees the gap in between each of the labels. That's how it knows. That's how the machine knows that it's fed one label. You trigger the product sensor, tell it to feed a label, it sees the gap in the labels, it, know one, well, it knows that one label has been fed. It then goes from here to the peel plate or peel tip. What's happening there is we're taking our roll of labels and we're folding it. And as we fold it, the label itself is peeling off and the liner is coming back here. We then, the liner then comes around to the drive roller. The drive roller then turns, the same motor that turns the drive roller also turns a rewind assembly. So at the end of a job, all that you're going to do is pull your pin out, take off the spent label liner, and you have a fresh roll of labels and you're ready to run. Once again, to go through the complete machine, this is the AccuWrap wrap labeling system. It's a complete system to include, it and, uh, to include a conveyor. It can be used as a standalone device. In other words, you could have somebody loading the products and somebody catching the products. You could have somebody loading the products and a pack off table that the label products automatically feed to. You can integrate it into a production line. You can see there's space on the in-feed and on the out-feed where you could do a butt transfer or side transfer and have it as part of your equipment or your production line. The products will come in, they'll move on the conveyor, they'll be spaced by the spacing wheel, the guide rails are adjustable to guide for different size products, will come down, be triggered by the product sensor and apply the label, the location of the label is adjustable by simply moving the labeling head up or down. Also for different size products, we can move the wrap station up or down. And then for different length products, we have our product delay in our settings. And then we have our label delay to adjust for different length labels. When it comes time to change the labels out, as I mentioned, everything on the labeling head is toolless, so no tools are needed. Also, it's numbered. We have our supply reel is number one, where your labels are placed. Our, our guide roller here is number two. Our dancing arm that I had explained earlier keeps tension on the web is three. We then go through another guide roller, number four, that takes you through your label sensor that sees the gap in between the labels. We then have a guide roller after the label sensor. These two keep the web flat as it goes through. We come around the peel plate, 
We come around another guide roller that helps keep it in position for the drive roller. The label web is placed between the drive roller and nip roller by opening this handle. And then it goes from the drive roller nip roller to the rewind assembly. And it simply is pulling this pin out and you can put a fresh roll of labels on. Thank you for your attention. Once again, I'm Rick and I'm with All Phil's Labeling Division.